I say hello. How are you? I say hello. How are you? I say hello and get down and get down and get down. I say hello. How are you? Very nice. I say hello. How are you? I say hello. How are you? I say hello and get down and get down and get down. I say hello. How are you? Very nice. All right, guys. Great day. Good morning. Today is Thursday, April the 2nd, 2020. Welcome to our distant learning class. And our question of the day is, have you ever seen this tree before? This tree. This is a picture of a pine tree. Have you ever seen this tree before? If so, drop down in the comment section and tell me all about it. Okay. I love you ritual today is Margie Pargy. It's the same thing as Georgie Porgy, but this time we're going to substitute the words for Margie Pargy. And with this, when I say Margie Porgy pudding and pie, you're going to lift shrug your shoulders like this. She gave her friend a big high five. You're going to extend your hand and you're going to give your child a high five. With her friend, she loved to play. With your hand still extended from you, you're going to wiggle your fingers. And a gift of a handshake she gave each day. You're going to shake your child's hand. Or you can give your child a smile, whichever one you prefer. Okay? We're going to do this all on three. Ready? One, two, three. Margie Pargie pudding and pie. She gave her friend a big high five. With her friend, she loved to play. A gift of a handshake she gave each day. Okay. Our read aloud for today is The Grouchy Ladybug. The Grouchy Ladybug. It's story time, story time. Let's get together and read a book. Story time, story time. Let's get together and read a B O O K. Dun 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 dun. A book. Okay. This is the front of the book. This is the what of the book. This is the what? Who writes the book? And who draws the picture? And we read from what? And from what? Okay, let's begin. The Grouchy Ladybug by Eric Carl. It was night and some fireflies danced around the moon. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybug flew in from the left. It saw a green leaf with many aphids on it and decided to have them for breakfast. But just then a grouchy ladybug flew in from the right. It too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. So we learn the word aphids. Aphids are little insects that ladybugs eat. And aphids normally um are on leaves. Good morning, said the friendly ladybug. Go away, shot the grouchy ladybug. I want those aphids. We can share them, suggested the friendly ladybug. No. They're mine, all mine, screamed the grouchy ladybug. Or do you want to fight me for them? If you insist, answered the friendly ladybug sweetly. It took the other bug straight in the eye. The grouchy ladybug stepped back and looked less sure of itself. Oh, you're not big enough for me to fight, it said. Then why don't you pick on somebody bigger? I'll do that, screeched the grouchy ladybug. I'll show you. It puffed itself and flew off.
At six o'clock, it met a yellow jacket. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the yellow jacket, showing its stinger. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At seven o'clock, it met a stag beetle. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the stag beetle, opening its jaws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At eight o'clock, it came across a praying mantis. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out with its long front legs. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At nine o'clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening its sharp beak. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. Why do you think the ladybug keeps saying, the grouchy ladybug keeps saying you're not big enough? Do you think he's scared? At 10 o'clock, it saw a lobster. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the lobster, scratching his claws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At 11 o'clock, it bumped into a skunk. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift its tail. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At 12 noon, it spotted a boa constrictor. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist said the snake right after lunch oh you're not big enough said the grouchy ladybug and flew off at one o'clock it happened upon a hyena hey you said the grouchy ladybug want to fight if you insist said the hyena laughing eerily and showing his teeth Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. Okay, guys, if it's one o'clock now, what time will it be next? What comes after one? If you said two, you're correct. At two o'clock, it met a gorilla. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the gorilla, beating his chest. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug. Okay, what comes after the number two? What time will it be next? If you said three, you're correct. At three o'clock, it ran into a rhinoceros. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering its horn. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. It's like all the animals he's saying you're not big enough is bigger than him.
At four o'clock, it encountered an elephant. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk and showing its big tusk. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? But the whale did not answer at all. You're not big enough anyway, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At 5.15, the grouchy ladybug said to one of the whale's flippers, Hey, you, want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. At 5.30, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's fin, Hey, you. Want to fight, but it got no answer, so it flew off. At a quarter to six, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's tail, Hey, you want to fight? And the whale's tail gave the grouchy ladybug such a slap. that it flew across the sea and across the land. At six o'clock, the grouchy ladybug arrived right back where it had started from. Ah, here you are again, said the friendly ladybug. You must be hungry. There are still some aphids left. You can have them for dinner. Oh, thank you, said the wet, tired, and hungry ladybug. Soon all the efforts were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You are welcome, answered both ladybugs, and they went to sleep. The fireflies who had been sleeping all day came out to dance around the moon. The end. Okay, the grouchy ladybug. Okay guys, in the comment section, tell me what does the word grouchy means? So I want you to tell me what the word grouchy means in the comment section. Okay. Already Rosie. Okay, I sent um a new list of Ready Rosie um videos home on yesterday. And of that list, I want you to watch the video What Habits Help Our Family Stay Healthy and Minimize Sickness. Okay, this is very imperative in the times that we are in now that kids learn about health and washing hands and not putting their hands around their mouth and eyes and just being very cautious of you know staying healthy so after you watch that video i want your, your kids i taught them in class how to wash their hands for 20 seconds singing the abc song so allow the kids to do that at home allow them to demonstrate to you the way they wash their hands singing the abc song okay for our extended learning. Okay, for our extended learning activity, activity is gonna be called Ticky Ricky. And with this activity, you're gonna, parents, you're gonna come up with a collection of items. You're gonna put those items in the box, okay? The child is going to pick one item at a time. And whatever item they pick, they are going to say a rhyming word that matches um, a rhyming word of the item that they pick. So for, inst for instance, if I had, 
Let me think. If I had a book, say I had this book beside the box, I have to come up with a word that rhymes a book. So I pick a book up, I would say shook, cook, rook. They don't come, come up with many rhyming words as they can from the collection that you have given them. So that's Rick Ticky Ricky. So guys, that concludes our um, distant learning class for today and hopefully y'all have a great day be safe enjoy one another and i'll see you on tomorrow goodbye i wish you well